Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video and this is Diamine inks comparison number one. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So the first ink we'll take a look at today is Diamine Ochre. So the first ink, we'll do a swab here. And you can see it's a brown ink. And we'll do a little bit more of a swatch on this. And you can see there, it's quite a nice brown ink. This is Diamine Ochre, which is a really nice brown ink. And I have to say, this is very, very, very similar to Akamon SBRE Brown. So if you cannot, at all get Akamon SBRE Brown. This is a perfect substitute. The next ink is Diamine and it's Ancient Copper. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is exactly what it says. It is a coppery colour ink. We'll do a second pass just to show a little bit more wetness here on what it would look like on a wetter nib. But that is a very, very coppery colored ink. This is Diamine. And it's ancient copper. But this is actually quite a nice ink. It's an ink that I honestly don't use a lot and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I think I got this ink around about the same time as I got Diamine Oxblood, and Oxblood was just an ink that I didn't like. And I think probably I just pair that sort of in my mind with Diamine Ancient Copper. But this is a nice ink, and I do think I'm going to have to start using this ink a little bit more. The next ink is a Diamine Smoke on the Water. And this is a German exclusive ink. Now, this is a bit of a sheening ink, and I just want to show you around the rim of that bottle there. You can probably see quite a bit of sheen going on. So, we'll do an ink swatch here. And you can see here, it's a very sort of almost teal-like colour. Do it a wetter application there of the ink but that is a very very dark teal color so if you like that kind of color and i'll show you the color in the cap here it is a very very dark color so this is diamine and it's smoke on the water but that is a very i i want to say it's more teal than anything it's a very dark greeny blue the next ink is diamine as a blue so we're doing ink swatch here and this is really a lovely blue color this is, for me, a beautiful blue. And it's one that I've started to use a little bit more lately when I'm inking up my pens. So this is Diamine. And it's Azza Blue. Not to be confused with Pilot Iwashizuku Azza Geo, though. The next ink is Diamine Desert Rose, and this is a Pen Venture exclusive in Romania. So we'll do an ink swatch here. 
Now, this is a very, very highly saturated ink, and I guess the Diamond Smoke on the Water is another one. Uh, it's basically classed as a sheening ink because it does have a lot of high concentration in dye. So this one I can already see is sheening like crazy on Tomoe River paper here. So a sheening ink, if you don't know, can be more problematic to cleaning out of pens because of the higher dye concentration. So this is diamine. And it's Desert Rose. And when I say it's a sheening ink, this is what it's left me with on my hands. So it is a very, very concentrated ink. The next ink is Diamine Majestic Blue. Now, this is also considered a sheenin ink. And I'll try to show you here. So again, the amount of dye in this ink is a lot more compared to a regular ink. And I'll try and do a second pass here to maybe show some of that sheen. Sometimes it shows on Diamine Majestic Blue and other times it does not. So this is Diamine Majestic Blue. But that is a very nice blue ink, and if you want a blue sheening ink, I would definitely recommend this. The next ink is Diamine Poppy Red, which is one of my not only favourite diamine inks, but favourite red inks. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see this is a very, very vibrant red ink. And this is why I do like it. I do like bright red inks, rather than maybe a darker red ink. So this is Diamine. And it's Poppy Red. But that is a beautiful red ink for me. And then the last ink in this video is Diamine Coral, which... Some say is a pink, some say is a red. I'll let you decide. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, I do think that this is more of a, an orange colour, or I don't know, some people say it's a pink, but I don't see it. I, I see it more of a pastel pinkish red, maybe, bordering on orange. So this is... Diamine Coral. But that is actually a very nice ink. If you do like pastel coloured inks, this definitely is an ink to look out for. So let's take a look at these inks one more time. So we have here Diamine Ochre. And as I mentioned before, this is very, very, very similar to Ackerman SBRE Brown. You can see that on a wetter nib with more ink flow that you get a darker brown colour, but on a more drier nib you get a very light, almost like hazelnut sort of chestnut brown colour. Now you do get a slight amount of shading, but not a lot there. The next ink is Diamine Ancient Copper, and this is a very nice reddish sort of coppery colour ink. Uh, this does have a bit of shading around the pulled areas. You can see the difference between a dark or wet writing nib and a dry writing nib there. That It does actually change quite a different sort of in colour there. The next thing is Diamine Smoke on the Water, which is a, as I mentioned before, a almost like a dark teal colour, sort of green uh, but it does have a lot of sheen going on there. And hopefully you can see that there on camera. Look at that sheen. Um, it doesn't, I guess it does have some shading going on, but the sheen really overpowers it. So it is a very sheeny 
ink, so that also means that it is a lot more difficult to actually clean out our pens. The next ink is Diamine as a blue, which is a really lovely sort of blue. Uh, it does have quite a bit of shading that you can see here around pulled areas. You can see the difference between a wet and a dry nib there. Uh, it's a blue that I'm really starting to like a lot, so it's a blue that I really want to write with a lot. Uh, it doesn't have any sheening though going on. The next ink is Diamine Desert Rose, and this is a little bit more of a sheening ink. And you will see here that if I angle it, you'll see a little bit of gold sheen here. But I don't get a lot. But I do, if you look at the writing here, get a lot in that writing. So it really is quite a, a strange ink that you don't seem to get it sort of sheening a lot on when you put on a lot of ink, but you do when it's writing in a nib. The next ink is Diamine Majestic Blue, and again, this is another sheening ink. Uh, you really, like with Diamine Desert Rose, you can't see a lot of difference here between a wet and a dry nib, but it does have an immense amount of sheen going on there, and you can just see that sheen. Just look at that sheen. So this is a very sheening ink. Strange enough, I don't see it, though, in the writing sample, but I do see it when I'm doing the ink swatch. The next ink is Diamine Poppy Red, which is one of my favourite reds. And this is a very nice, punchy, bright poppy red. Uh, it doesn't have much of a shading, like if you look in the, the letters there. Maybe a little bit more on the ink swatch, but again, not massive amounts. Uh, it doesn't have any sheening properties, which typically most red inks do not. There are a few exceptions like... Uh, Pilot Washizuku Mamiji, which really sheens gold, um, but Diamine Poppy Red doesn't sheen at all. And then you have Diamine Coral, and some say this is a pink, some say it's a, an orange, some say it's a, a red or a peach. I would actually say it's more of a peachy colour. Uh, Diamine do have another ink called uh, Diamine Peach Haze, which uh, I believe is... Maybe a little bit lighter, maybe it's darker. Uh, I think this will be coming up in one of the next videos, ink videos. Uh, you can see that there really isn't a lot of um, shading going on. There's no sheening going on either. But it's a very nice sort of a matte, sort of pastel-y coloured ink. So that's my Diamine Inks comparison video number one. If there are any inks here that you do like the look of and you don't have already, then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other Darmine inks that you would like me to check out, then also do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Darmine inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.